Kitchen and uh, welcome to day seven of working out at home. Today I've decided to do a little interval um, workout with some weights. We'll do some upper body, some lower body. Um, we're going to take it in those timed intervals. So it'll be 20 seconds of workout with a 10 second either rest or slow down period. Do listen to your body. Um, today, I've decided to do no music, so that way you guys can um, take advantage of uh, listening to your own playlist today. So put on your favorite jams that get you motivated and moving, and take it at your own pace. Listen to your body, and go at your own speed. So we're going to warm it up first. And then we'll get into our workout with those dumbbells. Now, if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can always use water bottles. Uh, if you have those hydro flasks, they work great. Um, you know, as much weight as you want in them, um, depending on how full they are. Of course, you've got your bigger water bottles. Um, so whatever you need, stay hydrated, <laughs> something to lift. And... Um, of course, if you've got dumbbells handy, that's great, but I know not everybody does at home. So use what you've got, and we're going to get started. Um, I have a little timer over here. I'm going to hit play on. So let's hit play on our music, guys, and we will get started. Today's workout is about 20 minutes. Are we ready? All right. We got 10 seconds to prepare. Um, be ready. We're going to start off with a little arm swing. Warming up those bodies. We're going to swing those arms. And here we go. Right here. we got 20 seconds. And we're stretching out those chest and back muscles. Getting those bodies warmed up. Getting the blood pumping. we got five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take it to a little booty kick. Now you can keep it as a low impact. I'm going to move my dumbbells out of the way so I don't trip on myself. We're going to start it in three, two, one. Now booty kick. You got it. Now you can always jog this out if you'd like. I'm going to stay right here with my booty kicks. You got 10 seconds. We got it. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go back to those arm swings. Swinging it front and back. Are we ready? We're going to get started in three, two, one. Now make sure you take those rests when you need them. Listen to your body. You got this. You got 10 seconds. It's hard to do this without music. I hope you guys are jamming at home. Ooh, and there it is. We're going to go back to those booty kicks. You've got that 10 seconds. Either rest or slow down period. Or you can jump right in. You're going to start it in three, two, one. You got it. Now, again, you can always jog them out right here. Okay? So do listen to that body. You have 10 seconds. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. One. Oh, oh. We're going to bring it on down. We're going to circle those arms right here. You got it. Start it out. Little circles. You can add in those legs, taking it down into that sumo, holding it down. You got it. We got a five, four, three. Two and one. Now let's bring it to a high knee. We're going to bring that knee up right here. Now, of course, you could jog this out. Here we go. You can bring them up fast or you can keep it slow. Taking it at your own pace. Warming it up. Five, four, three. Two and one. Let's bring it back down. Bring those arms out. Taking that circle. We're right here. Are we ready? Start it in three, two, one. Right here. Mm -hmm. 
And since my own beat up here, <laughs> you got it. And we got five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We're going back to those high knees. You got this. We're going to bring them on up. We're ready. In three, two, one, we're bringing them up. got this. Now grab those weights. We're going to go in for some shoulders. We're going to start off with a lift straight up to the side. Are we ready? We got five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's lift them up right here. Bring it right up to shoulder height. You got it. We got 10 seconds. And I'm up. Three, two, one. Now let's take a squat next. So bringing those feet out about shoulder width apart. We're going to squat it all the way up and down. And here we go. Let's squat it down. You got it. Squatting it down. Now making sure we're sitting back, taking that booty back like you're sitting in a nice imaginary chair. With that squat, you got it. There's three, two, one. Woo! We got this. Now we're gonna go back to those shoulders, taking those lateral raises, bringing those arms right up to shoulder height. And we're ready. And we lift. We bring it here. You got it. Taking that second set. Doing good. Lift it up, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go back to that squat, bringing those feet out about shoulder width, make sure those toes and heels are parallel. Going all the way up and down. Here we go, take it down. Woo, that back almost too far. Make sure you're loading that weight evenly on those heels and toes. Woo, but taking that booty back, you got it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna continue on with those shoulders, this time bringing those arms up into the front, taking it to that front raise, palms are down. Are we ready? And we lift, bring it up. You got it right here. Doing good. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We got this. Now we're gonna take a nice big sumo squat, taking those toes out and towards the corners. We're gonna bring it straight down, and we go. We're gonna bring it here. You got it. Now make sure those toes are pointed out and towards those corners, and that those knees are headed out towards those corners. Making sure we're keeping those legs in proper alignment. And there it is. Woo! Now we're gonna bring those arms back up and to the front. We are right here. Lifting it, are we ready? And officially start it. Now remember, take those rests when you need it. Listen to those bodies. You can always modify by alternating arms if you needed to. So many ways. Just keep on moving. And there it is. Let's go back to those sumo squats, taking those toes and knees up towards those corners. Are we ready? And let's bring it down. Taking that sumo. You got it. Doing good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo -woo, we got this. All right, we're gonna switch it to some shoulder presses next. Now, if you need to up those weights, 
grab something heavier. We're gonna bring it up. We're gonna take that shoulder press next. Are we ready? And let's press it up. Here we go. Working those shoulders. So I say, the broader the shoulders, the smaller the waist looks. We got this. Woo. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna take it into a lunge. So I want you to bring it down into a nice lunge position, and we're gonna simply take it up and down an inch. So we're taking little pulses. It's only 20 seconds. You got it. Now you can take this as a lunge all the way up and down if you would prefer. Listen to that body. Doing good. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it back up. We're going back to that shoulder press. Bringing those arms out to the side. You got five seconds until we officially have to start. And away we go. Bring it up. Now make sure that those dumbbells are coming slightly out into the front also. You don't want to make sure that you're not arching that back on that press. You got it. You have four, three, two, and one. And of course we got to come back down into a lunge, switching legs this time. Bring it down nice and low. We're going to take it up and down that inch. Here we go. You got it. Now I'm making sure that that knee doesn't come out over that toe in the front. I should have switched to the side so you can see that proper form. Woo, ideally proper form. I hope I'm doing proper form. And there's your time. Let's bring it back up. Now this time we're gonna bring those arms up into the front. We're gonna take another little shoulder press. Taking it up and down. And let's do it right here. In it up. Now those arms are out into the front. We're hinging at that elbow, taking that press. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now of course we've got to do each leg twice on those lunges. So we're gonna go back to that first side. And we ready. Here we go. Let's bring it on down. Taking that lunge pulse, taking it up and down an inch. Really challenging yourself, bringing it down low. You got it. Woo! You have five, four, three, two, and one. Bringing it back in. We're gonna bring those arms back up into the front. We're taking that little press. Are we ready? And let's press it up here. We got 20 seconds. Got it. Take it up. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. One more leg on those lunges. We're bringing it on down. Then we're gonna switch to some biceps. I'll be ready. Let's pulse. Here we go. You got it. Taking it down. Doing good. You got 10 more seconds. Awesome. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Now we're going to switch to biceps. So if you need to, wah, wah, up that weight. You got it. We got 10 more seconds. Grab your water if you need it. It's important to stay hydrated. And we're ready. Palms are to the front, and we're gonna curl it up for right here. Now, when you're taking those bicep curls, make sure we're hinging at that elbow, curling it up right here. You got it. Ooh. Curling it up. We're almost there, and there it is. Whew. Now, this time we're gonna take a deadlift. So we're gonna hinge at the hips, taking that straight back, straight legs, Squeezing those glutes at the top, we bend, we take it down, and we bring it up. You got it. Now only take those 
reaches towards the floor as far as you can go with proper form, okay? We wanna make sure we're not hurting those backs. Keep those dumbbells nice and close to those legs. You got it, there's three, two, and one. Going back for those bicep curls, we're gonna take those palms to the front. We're gonna start it up in a few seconds. Three, two, one, let's curl right here. You got it. Taking it all the way up, all the way down. Making sure that we're not swinging those arms, using momentum to take that curl, but we're really isolating that bicep and that full range of motion. You got three, two, one. You got it. Now taking it back to that deadlift, we are hinging at those hips. Don't forget to squeeze those glutes at the top. Are we ready? And we hinge. We're right here. Bring it up. Oh, and there's our time. All right, we're gonna switch to a hammer curl. So palms are in this time. So we're hinging at the elbow still. We're taking it all the way up and down. Those palms are in. We're leading up with those thumbs. We got it right here. Doing good. Losing my glasses. We got it. Curling it up. We got three, two, and one. Now this time we're going to take an oil driller deadlift. So we're going to take it from side to sides, from right here to here. Now if you feel any pinching in that lower back, keep them to the center. We're ready and we go. Making sure that we're still keeping those straight backs, straight legs. We're keeping those dumbbells nice and close to those legs, aiming more towards the back of those heels. You got it. Almost there. You have four, three, two, and one, great job. So we're gonna go back to those hammer curls, bringing them up right here. We're we starting in three, two, one, curl it up. We got it. Doing awesome. Almost there. Doing five, four, three, two and one. Going back to those oil driller deadlifts, we are taking it from side to side, making sure we are listening to those bodies, keep it to the center if you need it, and away we go. You got it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two and one. Awesome. Now we're going to continue on with those biceps. This time we're going to take those curls to the outside, taking a nice wide curl. You've got 10 extra seconds on this round. Are you ready? Nice wide curls and away we go. We're going to curl it out. Now make sure you are listening to those bodies. If you need to alternate it up, you can, just depends on how much weight you're lifting. So, do listen to that body. You got it, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Woo, now we're gonna go to some calves. We're gonna lift it up onto those toes, bringing those toes and heels together. We're gonna lift it on up, are we ready? And we bring it up and down. Bring it up onto those toes, you got it. Doing good. Less than 10 seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Woo -woo. We're going back to those nice wide curls, bringing it up right here. We got it. Here we go. Curl it. Good job. Got less than 10 seconds. Doing good. There's five, four, three, two, and one. We are going back to those calves, bringing it up onto those toes. Oh, we got it. We're ready. And three, two, 
One, we lift, bring it up. Right here. Oh yeah. Lifting it up. 10 seconds. Good job. We got five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take it to a tricep kickback next. We're gonna bring those elbows up, slightly leaning it forward. We are kicking those arms into the back. We got this, we're right here. Blast some arms, we got it. Ooh, ooh. Doing good. Kicking it back, really extending those arms, keeping that back straight. Awesome. Now we're gonna take it to a straight arm press. So we're gonna take those palms up into the back this time. We're gonna murder those triceps. Okay, here we go. Bring it up. Woo -hoo. We're going to finish it off nice and strong with those arms today. You got it. Bring it up. Almost there. You got four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to go back to that tricep kickback. We're right here. Continuing on. We got it. We don't need that break. If you took it, you got three. Two, one, let's do it. You got it. Kicking it up. Taking that slight lean. Really extending those arms. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Taking those palms to the back. We are pressing it up. We got this. We have five, three, two. One, well, let's do it. Press it up. You got it. Press it right here. Almost there. Less than 10. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's kick some legs back in there. Let's hold it down in that sumo position, bringing those arms up and over the head. We're gonna take an overhead extension. Now, of course, the legs are always optional. Oh man, and just like that, it says we ran out of time. Well, we can't stop now. We gotta take one more exercise. Keep on moving, whoo, we can do it. Let's hold it right here. How long do you think we can go for? My timer stopped over here. So we're just gonna have to go until it hurts. Just kidding, we're not gonna go till it hurts. How about we go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And just like that, you guys made it through over 20 minutes of my workout today. Whew, set it in on down. Grab your sip of water, hydrate it. Make sure you're watching for those daily posts new workout every day we got this keep on moving stay active have a fabulous rest of your day and we will do it again tomorrow